What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfexi and welcome back today to Five Nights at Freddy's World. So yes, today's video is going to be slightly different because this game has just received an update. It is called Update 1 and today what we're going to be doing is kind of showing you a few of the new features that have been upgraded and added into the game. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you've noticed one big change already. But very, very quickly, I just wanted to let you know this game has now been released for free on Game Jolt. So that's a website slash client where you can download and play free games so I will link that in the description below so you can play this game for free now of course if you do have the paid Steam version like I have the game's still gonna get updated on that sort of platform as well which is kind of cool and yeah this is update one so what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna kind of be showing you around the map and seeing what's changed I'm also gonna be showing you the cool new sort of party information and we are gonna be going to pinwheel funhouse which is the trippiest place ever it's so weird and um, but yeah I'm gonna have to say it look at the map oh my goodness this is so bizarre like check this out it's all kind of like 3d style now here's the thing right so I'm just the messenger here obviously I've got no say in this game but from someone who's played the game that released early, this is just really bizarre because I'm so used to that sort of 8-bit screen. I don't necessarily dislike it, it's just a really huge change. It's so weird. Like, the actual map itself is still in the original style, but this is all kind of like 3D. It's really bizarre, so check this out. You've still got all the NPCs. Uh, the battles are still pretty much exactly the same, by the way. They're like, you know, how they normally were. But the actual map that you sort of engage in has completely changed, so... Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this. This is really weird. I like the way that the NPCs kind of dance around, but at the same time, I kind of like the other one. So I think it's probably because I haven't played on this properly. I'm not really used to it, but if I would have started the game afresh on this, it would probably be fine. So you know what? I do kind of like it. I'm not criticizing it, but the Five Nights at Freddy's community is so hard to please on YouTube. Um, and I don't know if people are going to react angrily to this update or something. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, this is kind of like the updated 3D world map. Um, and it's so bizarre. Look at all the houses. They're like, kind of, I don't really know. <laughs> so everything kind of still like reacts the same. And I think all of the shortcuts and bits and pieces that you would have previously seen are still in there. But of course, the way that you actually move around the world, it's a bigger screen for starters. It's not like a little square in the middle. And you know what? I kind of like it. I think it looks pretty cool. So ooh, just before we go and have a little tour around the different areas, let me show you this because this is an awesome thing. As you can see there on the right hand side, we finally have your character, your level of your character, the experience needed for the next level and the moves which it does, which is amazing because previously you had to kind of remember every single move for every single character and then building a team could be a little bit difficult if you're looking for a certain move or a certain move combination. So yeah, now you actually see the characters next to each other, which are great. Um, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> I thought like all my levels had disappeared, but because they used to show the level in the bottom corner, now it actually only shows it on the um, right hand side. So as you can see there, Nightmare Freddy level 29, uh, nearly 7,000 XP to level up, Bite 2, Sludge and Freddles. So I think that's kind of cool actually, it's kind of slightly easier for you to pick a team and stick with it, very very good. So that's a piece of the update that I really really like. Um, but yeah, anyway, before we go to Pinwheel Funhouse, which I think is probably, like, the major kind of change to this place. Uh, ooh, gold chest. Oh, Necker Crabs, be gone, you foul beasts. Uh, okay, well, wow. <laughs> let's just let my, um, let's just let my bites do all the work. There we go, fantastic. So yeah, the kind of battles and stuff are completely the same. It's just this crazy overworld. So let's go to um, Chopper Use Woods here. As you can see, this is what this looks like now. The trees have been retextured. The little birds have changed from birds to seagulls, which I think is kind of weird. Um, let's get rid of these chopping rolls. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Let's hit some AOE. Let's hit a bad pizza. Oh yeah. Boom. Nice. Pretty good. So we've changed from little birdies to little seagulls, because why not? Why not? Um, we've got like gravestones and bits and pieces. Uh, this is dusting fields, so this is now like super snowy. It looks cool. I like it. Um, this is just so weird, like from, from having, as I kind of mentioned, look at this, the bosses are actually animated in the world as well. So you know what, let's go and fight this boss, because why not, right? Um, but yeah, from like playing the game previously to playing it now, 
It is so, so weird. Of course, we've already finished the game, but we still have a few endings. I actually recorded a video with a couple of multiple endings, which I'm probably going to now re-record because it's in the old version. Um, but yeah, check this out. So this is one of the world buffers, of course. This is Snow Cone 2, which is kind of like... Oh, I've used the wrong move. Oops, never mind. Uh, which is like the second time that you meet him when he's more powerful. But of course, the battles are exactly the same. Unscrew doesn't work on bosses. I've just wasted a move. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, these kind of battle animations are exactly the same. It's just more like the interaction with the world that's completely different. So anyway, let's uh, let's get rid of this dude. Yeah, there we go. See you later. So uh, yeah, the bosses are still exactly the same. I just checked to see if, like when I killed it, it did anything different. It kind of doesn't. Unbelievable. Um, but yeah, so this is um, the Dusting Fields, which is kind of very, very snowy. If we go over to the next area here, which no, is uh, the Lily Gear Lake, I love the animation in the boat. I think it's so cool. Look at that. I love this. So there's got like some weird like overlay sort of effects. You see in the top corner, it's kind of like a, a lens flare. Really weird, but you know, I guess this is kind of how the game is going to be now. Uh, there are going to be more updates, so, you know, we'll have to wait and see what else is going to change. But I guess this was supposed to be more like the game was supposed to be before it was rushed into release, maybe? Or this might be a change which has occurred off the actual criticisms of the previous version. Um, but yeah, this is Lily Gear Lake, so really, really nice with the boat animation. I think this is probably my favorite area. Look at that, so cool. Ooh, seagull, unscrew. See you later. Nice. Um, See, so yeah, anyway, we've got a couple more areas left to go, and then we're going to go to Pinwheel Funhouse, which is just weird. So, this is the fifth area here, which is Black Tomb Yard. Really creepy. You can see, like, the clouds going over and leaving a reflection. So, this place looks cool. I like this a lot. Kind of creepy. Uh, NPC over there. And, yeah, this is Black tomb yard and then finally we've got pinwheel circus with these weird like um orb overlay things um but yeah we need to go all the way to the top so there's the sentry owl ready for battling but we've already defeated him of course and if we go all the way up to the top da -da -da. oh we haven't been into the cave ah hang on we'll go into the cave in a minute but um let's go all the way up here ah oh, get rid of these guys Okay, and let's go into the fun house. So this is the weirdest part of the update for me. Check this out. You see what's happening? Every single area has like a different kind of... Well, it's not every single area. Basically, every time you go into a battle... Wow! Tangle, you've got no chill, dude. <laughs> Come on. Chill out. Okay, let's get rid of you. So every time you actually go into a battle whilst you're in... Stop killing everyone! What are you doing? Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, okay, so every single time you actually exit a battle, when you're in the pinwheel funhouse, the actual screen itself changes. So it was kind of like a rotating disc sort of lengthways. Now it's a rotating disc widthways, which is just the weirdest thing ever. So if we go to like the next area, so let's go back to like, I don't know, here or something, and let's try and engage ourselves in a battle. So come on, fight me. Oh, four Fred Bears. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. Dun, 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 dun. Right, there we go. Got rid of those dudes. So yeah, now we've completed another battle. If we go back into the world again, <sighs> things have changed. So it's gone back to the sideways scrolling one, but there's more, there's more. Wait and see, wait and see. So if we go back and we try and get into another battle if possible. So come on, fight me. Look at this. This is like the first area with um, Chipper as well. So weird. So if we get rid of this white rabbit, come on. Come on, spring locks, there we go, nice. Okay, so that's got rid of it. Let's see what happens next. There's one which is kind of like a sideways one, which I'm trying to actually show you. Uh, are we gonna get it? No, this is the round one again. Ugh. I mean, let me find it, let me find it. Oh God, oh my goodness, what the heck is this? <laughs> I haven't seen this one yet, this is horrible. Oh man, look at the, just, I don't know. So I think there's loads of different effects which happens every single time you exit a battle, which just makes your life a little bit more difficult. I think maybe the developer, Scott, was thinking maybe the fun house is a little bit too easy. So, although it's not, because it's quite hard to find your way through, but maybe this is just a way of making it even more difficult, which I feel is the case. Um, but yeah, the only thing that we haven't tested yet is what happens when you actually travel to the different layers. So let's go and do that in just a second. Let's actually see one more what the um, what the ending is going to be like. So let's hit, uh, just hit an eye beam, and then we can get that mimicked. Boom! Oh come on, why won't you die? This thing's got health. Go away. Come on. Go away. <laughs> there we go. Finally. 
So let's see if there's anything different about this next one, which I kind of feeling it might be. Let's see, and... Okay, we're back to this one again. So as you can see, loads and loads of different things. Uh, yeah, really, really bizarre. But anyway, let's go and travel down to uh, the next layer and see if it's different. Okay, so let's travel down and see if there's anything different with this. No, it is exactly the same as how it previously was. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. Um, I was kind of concerned that they'd try and 3 dize this, although that's probably not technically possible, and it would look rubbish. But yeah, it looks exactly the same as how it once was. So fair enough, skis. Fair enough. Not too bad at all. Okay, so... Yeah, let's get out of here now. And we are back out. So yeah, we're back at Lily Gear Lake here. Um, but yeah, that was update one for Five Nights at Freddy's World. So I don't know. I'm really curious to see what the community is going to think about this. Uh, I really think that people should just give this a go. Now that the game is free to play on Game Jolt, just give it a download and play it and see what you think. Uh, it's really weird, but this is one of the most fun games that I've played in a long time. And I don't know if that necessarily makes sense until you've actually played it. So yeah, give it a go, free to play. And I think that's going to be about it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. Because we do Five Nights at Freddy's World done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. See ya.